test lab. The validation of a flawless execution of a robust high voltage power transformer design comes from IEEE standard testing of the unit in a test lab. VTGT has the most modern automated digital test lab. There are three main tests performed in the test lab. Transient impulse lightning and switching tests, high voltage high pot tests. These two tests will check transient and steady state over voltage capability of the installation. Power measurement, impedance, voltage, and induced voltage tests. This test is meant to check for thermal and partial discharge capability of the transformer. State-of-the-art impulse generator made by high voltage company based in Germany uses remote digital controls that are fully operated from a console located in a sealed controlled cabin. 12 200 kV sections give this generator capability to test up 2400 kV BIL with 365 kilojoules of energy. We have already tested 1650 kV BIL transformer using this equipment. For high pot, we use a resonance test set as opposed to using an old-fashioned inductive transformer. In a resonance test set, the capacitance and inductance are tuned to resonance frequency to achieve the desired voltages. The two main advantages of this method are, number one, you do not need a humongous transformer to test a 345 kV or 500 kV unit, so this is a significant saving in the precious test floor space. And number two, during high pot, older transformer based high pot equipment had a tendency to feed more power into the fall, thus causing severe damage to the unit. Whereas the protective controls of resonance test sets are highly sophisticated, capable of isolating the source from transformer within a very short time in case there is a test failure. For power measurement and induced voltage test, we have two redundant sources a variable frequency, fully static or digital power source that can switch to any frequency or any voltage remotely. In fact, it can also operate LTCs remotely for the readings at each tap. We also have a backup source that uses two sets of generators, one for the power measurements and the other high frequency generator for the induced voltage test. The control cabin has consoles from where the actual tests are conducted. After the initial configuration of transformer unit, all the external doors are locked. Any unlocked door will automatically prevent the console buttons from operating, a nice safety feature. The entire circuit configuration and the controls are on GUI screens. The test engineer simply sits at the console and pushes the buttons. More importantly, the test diagnostics are built into the software. The following example will illustrate the significance of this feature. Every transformer is designed for certain basic installation level BIL. For example, a 230 kV transformer is typically designed for 900 kV BIL. And when this transformer is tested, first, a reduced wave, say 50% of 900 kV is applied to the transformer and the voltage distribution is plotted as a fingerprint of this transformer. Now a full wave is applied and the voltage distribution across the transformer is recorded again. The two plots are now compared. Any visual anomaly between the two waveforms will indicate an impulse failure. Experienced eyes are required to detect this. Our test system uses software that will automatically superimpose the waveform and precisely detect the type, magnitude, and location of the fault in case there's one.